My name is Lieutenant Dave Emery. I'm an observer on 814 Naval Air Squadron, the Flying Tigers. We've recently uh, been embarked on Operation Wield. That was an operation in the Mediterranean uh, looking for survivors, um, it, which are coming across the Mediterranean in inflatable ribs um, and boats. Uh, in that, we were uh, looking in an ASUW role. For Operation Wield, we were looking uh, for surface search for inflatable boats and ribs, which contained uh, a lot of the survivors. We would locate the survivors uh, using the software and the equipment and systems that we've got in the Merlin uh, and then pass this information onto the surface warships that we had out there who would go and conduct a rescue of these survivors. So was that radar and EO equipment that you were locating the uh, survivors with? That's right, yeah. We've, uh, we're fitted with the um, very capable Blue Kestrel radar. The uh, radar uh, is what we'd use to locate it and we'd have to go and visually ID it. Uh, we're soon to get the upgrades to have the MX-15 fitters. Uh, we currently haven't got the MX-15 fitters, uh, but they'll shortly uh, be fitted onto our aircrafts, which will uh, make us even more capable in the surface search role. Our main role is and uh, remains ASW. Uh, for that, the Merlin Mark II uh, has now had a software update, uh, which gives us an even better ability to be able to, uh, to search for and, uh, and track any subsurface contacts that we, uh, that we might locate. And that's both radar and uh, dipping sonar? That's right, yeah. We've got, uh, we've got a lot of different abilities on the helicopter to be able to locate these submarines. Uh, that includes uh, the radar, which is specially designed to look for periscopes. Uh, we've also got ESM, uh, which can detect any radar emissions given off by submarines. But most importantly, uh, we have the ability to spit sonar boys into the water and also uh, our active dipping sonar, uh, which can uh, put sound into the water to locate the submarines. And looking towards the carrier operations, are you preparing for that? Yes, uh, we've always got an eye uh, for the future and what the new carrier is going to mean to us. Uh, this year has seen 814 conducting a lot of maritime embarkations on, on different warships. All of these uh, are acting as a build-up for us uh, getting the new aviation carriers in the future. The various roles that Merlin 2 will be conducting? Yeah, the, the various roles that we'll be conducting primarily uh, is ASW, that is uh, what we're specialised in. However, uh, we're capable in many other different roles. Uh, Anti-surface warfare, uh, we're a capable platform for that. Um, and will become even more capable when we get the new defensive aid suite and the MX-15 fitters. Some of the aircraft are, are beginning to get fitted for them, or, uh, some of the Mark II aircraft are beginning to get fit with them. Um, as soon as we get fitted for them, it'll, it'll enable us, uh, it'll give us an ability uh, to be able to counter any, uh, any surface weapon threat uh, to the aircraft. So you're basically doing force protection for the carrier as part of your role? Yes, exactly. We'll be doing force protection and the defense of aid suite will just, it'll give us the, um, a, a, a last line of defense against any, uh, any weapons used against us. And you said you had operated in the Gulf recently? Yeah, um, from last year we were uh, conducting operations in the Gulf um, and that was maintaining security uh, up through, uh, through the, the Straits of Hormuz and looking out for UK interests abroad. Going through training on A24, I trained up on the Mark I helicopter. Uh, now that it's been replaced by the Mark II, that means there's been a conversion of all the Mark I Merlin crews onto the Mark II conversion. Uh, this, uh, this conversion takes about two months. and uh, We do it alongside, um, or as well as, all the other students which are currently learning straight from the Avenger, uh, learning straight from scratch the Merlin Mark II. And that's observer training? Uh, yes, that's observer training and we run it alongside the pilots and the air crewman training. And when, when you train with the training, do you do multi-role training now? Is, is that all incorporated or do you specifically train as ASW and then MX-15 Ops and M3M and all that? Is that you learn on the frontline squadron? No, we, uh, in A24 we learn every, uh, every role of the aircraft, uh, so that includes uh, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, um, as well as thus on top of all the basic navigation of the air. And MVG training? MVG training uh, is currently being conducted on front line. That is, uh, 824 are currently um, 
training on MVGs. Um, 814 are looking to start um, converting onto MVGs at the beginning of uh, 2016. And that's all part of the multi role capability that you're training for with an early two? Absolutely, yeah. The uh, uh, MVGs will allow us to become uh, more capable, especially in the maritime environment um, when, whilst we're in part. Uh, looking towards the future for the uh, for the two carriers coming into service.